friends and welcome back to Susan Can Create. Um, this week we're going to do the uh, Cinco de Mayo celebration. Um, thank you so much for joining me back on my channel. I truly appreciate the time that you're spending. I hope you're enjoying um, the suggestions that I'm making for um, dinner theme parties and you're trying some of them out. Um, please subscribe down below if you haven't already and hit the like button. If you have subscribed, hit the like button. Tell me if you like it. Go ahead and add comments. Um, let me know what you're thinking. What am I going to have? Well, the dinner is planned. I'm going to do a fajita bar. If you haven't done a fajita bar before, that's a really good uh, one for uh, a party. It's an easy, easy um, dinner to have, especially if you have a group coming. Um, I am going to have a um, beef fajitas, going to do those, going to do shrimp fajitas, two different kinds, <clears throat> excuse me, of fajitas. Then I'm going to serve, I'm going to do a saute up uh, red, yellow, orange um, bell peppers and um, some green bell peppers too, along with onions. Then I'm going to saute those up and they'll be served also on the side. And then um, there'll be Spanish rice, there'll be black beans. So people can make their own fajitas. Of course, also on the side, I'll have shredded cheese. I'll have um, raw onions if anybody wants those also. I'll have cilantro, I'll have uh, sour cream, very, lots of uh, sliced lime, chunked lime, so they can you know squeeze lime over it. There'll be several things there for them. Um, it's real important to get really good tortillas. Uh, I have, I usually use flour. I don't usually put corn out there. I put flour tortillas out because fajitas are something that are big. You want a big, big, good sized tortilla to serve with those. And then, uh, of course, some really good chips. Put some good um, uh, tortilla chips out there too. So, and then uh, I set up a margarita bar. Gotta have margaritas. And so we'll have a a margarita bar going out there too so that that's what I'm serving with with the dinner like I said it's a great dinner to have if you're having people over because it's fairly easy to do and you can do a lot of it ahead of time before we go into the dining room I want to go ahead and show you the place setting out here I'm going to show you the place setting and how I do the napkin folding um, we'll go ahead let me go ahead and show you that right now show you the place setting here and uh, let me go ahead and show you this one. Um, I started out with a red placemat. I just got these at Hobby Lobby. Uh, they, they come in a set of two. So um, I really like these. They're very versatile. You can use them for anything. They're just a little woven placemat and a red one. And then I got these really pretty uh, dark midnight blue uh, chargers. I got these online and I went with that because you can see I used, uh, you know, I was going off of the colors, you know, I'm picking up all the colors in, in this, that was, which was wound up being my table runner. So I was using all, trying to set off all the colors of in the runner. Okay, so I used the navy blue. Then I took, I had, uh, I used one of my red plates. This is just an ordinary red plate from Anna's Amazon Basics. Okay, put the red plate there. And then um, this plate, I thought this was very festive. It had all the colors for Cinco de Mayo. It had the blues, the red, the oranges, the greens. And interestingly enough, I found this at uh, my local Fred Meyer store. It was on sale, a whole set of these. Just the salad plate size were on sale at uh, my local Fred Meyer. So I thought that was pretty good that I found those there. So that was good. Okay, and I really, like I said, the colors worked very, very well for, for this celebration. I thought they were extremely festive. All right, so then um, I, I used my margarita glasses. I have margarita glassettes and they all have different color bottoms on them. So I, I set that one up there. Let me see if I can get this moved up to where you can see it. 
there it is margarita glass and then I use these white um, these are the white frosted these are glasses but they have this nice smooth white outside here on them and I use that as a water glass and then for the napkin let me go ahead and move this I'm going to use this plate move this place setting out of the way here for a second and I'm going to show you this napkin um, I ironed these and I and I ironed them kind of stiff with um, some starch so I could show you um, how I did this fold this is the end result this is what I used this is the end result let me see if I can get this back to put back together nicely here this is what the end result looks like and they're little pockets of the silverware and then I found I ordered these little sombreros on online they're just little sombreros and I tied them on with a little red ribbon and so that's what the silverware packet looks like and okay so let me go ahead and show you how I did that all right so I got these large linen napkins move all this out of the way okay these are large very large linen napkins I think these are probably 20 by 20s and um, so you start out you put your napkin down and um, you want to get these napkins you want to set it down so um, you're folding it over so the um, unfinished side meets up with the unfinished you know unfinished side over here okay so that's you're going to fold it in half that way so the unfinished side is is up let me see if i can show you the unfinished side is up okay all right so that's folded there then you're going to fold it in half again just like that okay all right and like i said i was pressing them as i go okay so then you're going to take this corner and then you're going to fold it down like this okay and you would be pressing it i would be creasing it here okay then you're going to press it again and you would be pressing it pressing it pressing it and then you would fold it in half again crease it down fold it over and there you've made your little pocket right there you get your silverware I usually start with the knife in the middle just because it works better on these pockets like that to do spoon over there just like that and then like I said I had the I got the little sombrero I had um, it had a little, little hook there I got a little bit of uh, um, ribbon I tied them together and I tied them I kind of bunched this up like like so kind of bunched it put that around and it came out just like that okay so there you have it that's that would be the place setting that's in the other room that you will see in just a moment and that made the that made up the um single de mayo place setting just like that So we will go in, um, we'll go in and we'll uh, look at the dining room and then we'll come back around and uh, we'll close out the video. So I hope you enjoy the dining room, how I have it set up and I'll see you in a few minutes. Enjoy. And here on the table, here's the individual place setting that I went over in the beginning of the video. This is how it looks on the table itself. Let's see if we can bring it in a little bit. Okay.
And then down the middle, I used a runner of, um, this is actually uh, more like the Serape. It has that same um, colors. I use that throughout the video, all of the same. Some are cloth, some are actual um, Serapes. And, but I use that for continuity through the whole video. This one I used as a table runner going down. And then I also have some, uh, if you spend any time in the Southwest, you see all kinds of little critters, uh, little lizards, little um, all kinds of uh, colorful little uh, creatures. And I ran a, 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 line, a string of the chili lights down through the middle. Um, I also used live plants that had the Cinco de Mayo colors in there in the decoration. I really like this guy. He's a, he's a big old lizard there, climbing up on the middle there. In the middle, on a wooden uh, tray, I used a metal uh, vase. And in that, I put, I actually got these roses online. They're called, they're actually called Cinco de Mayo roses. I thought they were so pretty because they had all the colors, the multicolors in them. So I made a, an arrangement out of those. They're very bright, very pretty. And on the other side, we've got another one of the lizards, the big lizards going up there. Little iguana type things. And then some more of the little tiny ones. And another floral right there. Here's a close-up of the centerpiece. Again, um, I used a round wooden tray at the bottom. And then I've got the little the lizards crawling up on the tray. And then I have an antique uh, metal, antique looking, it's not really an antique, antique looking metal um, vase in the middle. I got that at Hobby Lobby. And then these um, Cinco de Mayo roses that I got online at Hobby Lobby. In the center piece going in the middle, um, I also, like I said, I used live plants in the middle. Again, these all plant outside, but I really like the colors for Cinco de Mayo. And I simply, I had these um, empty, this empty planter there, and I just set it in the pot inside that planter. I had some decorative moss right there, and I just put that around the top, and I sent it there. So therefore, I didn't plant it in the pot because I don't want it in that pot later. I just did it for, you know, for decor. And so um, that's all you have to do. You don't have to plant it in there. You just sort of a fake plant, uh, put it in there. And um, then when I'm done with the video or the party, I would just take it apart and I'm gonna go ahead and plant that outside. So it's really easy to use live plants in your decor. You can do it however you want to do it. Here's another look just at the table. On the um, chairs at the end of the table, at both ends, I had I got a couple of blankets, uh, Mexican blankets. 
with the colors that match and they have little palms on the end and I decided to throw those over the chairs and that really picked up the colors and uh, broke up all the you know the the gray color in the chair and really added a splash of color to this table setting. From the table we'll just um, swing on over here to the plant stand that's next to the apothecary um, and you can see I got this metal decorative uh, planner and um, it has kind of a rustic look to it and inside of it I put three uh, plants, live plants. Again, I just set them in there in their pots. I put some moss around the, uh, you know, fill in the holes and I put it there and then I will plant those plants outside when I'm done. Behind it you can see another um, runner that I did with all the um, colors of the Sarape and um, so it goes with the theme that's going on here and then I used a red um, a red placemat underneath uh, the um, planter to pull it all together. Just a spot of color right there. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the apothecary. On the top of the apothecary, I just did a simple little vignette. I had a wooden tray. Um, I put a white uh, milk glass pitcher I filled it with uh, orange, red, yellow, little um, flowers that are like little palms, little uh, cute little palms up there. And then I, I found uh, red, yellow, and white tall candles. I put those in there to go with our theme and our colors. And then uh, it has a runner with the colors of the sarapes on there underneath to tie it all together. I just wanted you to do something simple but to add a, just a splash of color up there. And we'll go over and look at the uh, side table next. Okay, on the side table, we set up a little margarita stand here with a margarita, frozen margarita machine to make uh, the, the frozen margaritas. On the side, we have a few of the margarita glasses. We have some tequila there. We have a bowl of limes. We have the setup with the um, to to rim your glasses. There would be the sponge. There would have lime juice in it, and then the salt. There'd be some other items on there when the bar's really set up and going, like some obviously some ice and some other items for the margarita itself. But the side table makes a nice little um, bar for making the margaritas to go with our our Cinco de Mayo theme. Okay, well now we've moved on over to the fireplace and up on the fireplace shelves. Um, we've draped the, the shelves with some more of the cloth that has the Cinco de Mayo colors and theme. On top of it, we got a little pinata and uh, a cactus up on that shelf. And then in the middle, we have a big sombrero right there with all of the colors. And then on the other shelf, we have another matching, a different cactus up there and another little um, piñata. Okay, down below there is a, a live plant that I've put there. It has kind of a yellow, <clears throat> or, excuse me, yellow, orangey, gold look to it. And it's got some um, more buds that will be coming out in it. And then it's sitting... It's in a white ceramic um, canister or jar that has some, um, some impressions in it that are really, really nice sitting up on a wooden a stool. And I got to tell you that um, wooden or that canister that it's in, the pot is just sitting inside of it. I didn't really have a pot for that and I didn't like the green plastic um, pot that the plant was in because that plant's going outside also. So I took um, the uh, that that particular white canister is the one that sits in my kitchen and my wooden spoons are in it. So I dumped my wooden spoons. They're now sitting loose on my kitchen counter and um, I used it for this. So like I said, you can repurpose things 
And I do repurpose things. If I have a, a party to do or a video to do, you just use what you need to use in your house. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy anything. So let's now if I move over here, um, you can see there's a pillow there, a Cinco de Mayo um, pillow that just sits in the middle. It's just a festive pillow that's there. You know, I get a lot of pillow covers. I don't get new pillows all the time. I just buy the covers and then put them over the, you know, the inserts of the pillows. Saves money that way. Let's look at the other corner now. All right, this is in the other corner of the fireplace. This is also live flowers. This is the same as the yellow one on the other side. This is two plants that are in here. One is kind of a, a dark uh, burnt orange, and the other one is more of a, a dark rust color in there, um, like a uh, sort of a red. Um, but they're both in there, and they're fl flowering, and I thought they were really pretty, pretty and I put them in a white um, wicker basket that I set up on top of a whitewashed little stand. So it was like a basket of floral. But they're they're live florals, so again they were also would be planted outside. And then coming over, this is the buffet table. This is another video that we are doing a buffet for the dinner. As we talked about in the beginning, but this is how I have it set up and this is the decor on it. Um, I have a stand in the back. I have two of these stands and they have more flowers on them just for decor. I have another string of the chili lights, multicolored chili lights that run in the back and there's the other stand. And then down in the front right there I have that's the chafing dish. That's, that's a dual chafing dish and in that will go the fajitas. This is a fajita bar, as we talked about. There'll be um, the two kinds of fajitas. There'll be the beef fajitas and the shrimp fajitas will be in there, keeping nice and warm. And the three tray warmer right there will be, uh, one tray will have the, um, the cooked, the sauteed vegetables, you know, the peppers and the onions that go in the fajitas. And um, then the next one will have rice, and the next one will have beans, and then, um, and these the four little trays there they'll have uh, little things like um, that'll be cut up oh some people like raw onions cilantro uh, there'll be different accompaniments that will go there cheese shredded cheese will be there uh, just different different items that will be in there to use uh, probably cut up limes so they can squirt lime on there if they'd like to this is the tortilla warmer that will go there because obviously they're going to want a tortilla for all of this. Um, and then we have this, this is one of those chilled ones, those round holders there go in the freezer so they can stay chilled. And then the salsa goes in there, the sour cream goes in there, keep them, you know, chilled down, whatever, you know, whatever accompaniments that you like with your fajita bar. Um, this makes a great single de Mayo meal between that and um, the, the, uh, margaritas and then probably more than likely I would have a nice in the back I would set up a bowl with a nice uh, big bowl with a nice fresh bunch of um, tortilla chips make sure your tortilla chips are nice and fresh um, there's nothing worse than biting into a stale tortilla chip so don't put them out too soon um, because they will get stale keep them nice and it's really nice if you kind of keep them a little bit warm that's always nice too and so I uh, have, a, have a nice bowl out there with the tortilla chips to go along with this. All right. So that's about it for the Cinco de Mayo. So we'll go back inside and with me and I'll wrap it up. And uh, we'll talk about the last few things. And that'll be it. All right. See you in a minute. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I certainly enjoyed doing it for you guys. Um, that it was a lot, of, it was really a lot of fun for me to do. All right, so um, the next video, our next video will be Mother's Day. Lots and lots of uh, fun. I'm really looking forward to that, um, to doing Mother's Day. Uh, now we'll have 
make sure you look at um, the answer to the last riddle and then we have the new riddle and I'm excited to say that we have some new members of our pet community we have um, our pet babies that we've had uh, our group um, Charlie and um, our Dottie and Louie's babies and uh, their little babies uh, we have those still um, we have a new two new members um, we have Josie who's another new little member and we have uh, Tippy who's another new little member so we've got those new little babies that will be seen in our pet community so make sure you keep sending those uh, pet pictures in we really really truly enjoy those pet pictures so um, until next time please um, please be safe please uh, stay healthy and happy and um, please come back and enjoy these videos uh, I truly appreciate your time until next time this is Susan saying goodbye and stay happy bye bye